hosting backup service uh, through site auto backup so once you are logged in you will see this screen and go to the reseller menu on the top here and you can click reseller configuration so here you can set up your configuration such as company name you want to use um, your own backup panel domain name which will be used by your own clients to log in and manage their backups and your server IP address which will be required to access our API service so you will need to put this in here and here you will see your reseller ID and your key which will be used to access our API service so you can set this up and simply hit the save configuration when you're done and that's it here you can upload your own logo which will appear on the top here here it'll replace this logo so go ahead and upload your own logo for your backup panel I have prepared a sample here web website backup solution so I'm gonna upload the logo there you can see it there and that's pretty much it now you can start integrating the API service we have with your own existing um, system if you are using WHMCS we have prepared a module which you can just download and plug it in I will show this in a separate video so for now um, this is basically the configuration you need to initially set up once you're done you can also use the manage user accounts menu here under the main reseller menu to actually add users and you can see your stats here so you can see the total disk usage of this reseller account is 3% 317 megabytes is used out of the 12 gigabyte assigned to this reseller account and you can sort um, this data by clicking on the on the heading of the table here you can see it's sorted so if you want to search or do some some editing on any accounts you can do that for example I want to increase this um, accounts quota to say 100 megabytes so I'm gonna click here click on the user and I'm gonna change to 100 megabyte and click update that's something around there. Let's go back. Uh, let me go and try something else. Let me just change um, this one here to 500 megabyte. And hit the update button. And as you can see, it's updated to 500 megabytes. So the actual client now can uh, do backups up until 500 megabytes. So you can also suspend user and resume suspended accounts or user or terminate an account by clicking here. So for example, if I want to suspend this account, I'm going to hit suspend and it has been suspended. So once an account is suspended, all the backups for that particular account is frozen it's stopped so no further backup will run but all the data will remain intact until the account is actually terminated so that's pretty much it um, and here you can also add a new user let's try that so um, video demo let's assign 3 gigabyte and I'm gonna click the add user here so username successfully added you can see all the details and you will also receive an email with these details so as you can see the user is immediately activated <coughs> here in the bottom 
so if you can sort by quota it should be on the top now so that's pretty much it and the next video I'm going to show you on how you can integrate it with your own existing WHMCS installation um, out of the box so I'll see you in the next video and thanks for watching I'll see you then